It's pretty easy to add LEDs to your sewing projects like I've shown you a couple times before. But if you don't want components sticking up from the surface of your project and you don't mind using a soldering iron, you might try to make these LED sequins. You can pick up most everything you need from the Adafruit shop, including surface mount LEDs, conductive thread, a needle and battery holder. Stop by your local jewelry supply or craft store to pick up some tiny silver beads. First, tin the LED contacts and the beads with solder. Then carefully reheat the solder and allow it to flow between the bead and LED contact. Use a pair of tweezers and you might have an easier time using a third hand tool as well. You won't readily be able to tell the polarity of your new LED sequins, so I like to test them right before I sew them to make sure I've got it right. I've seen other people use gold and silver beads to indicate the polarity, and you could also use a fine point permanent marker on the back. To build your circuit, start by sewing one side of the battery holder to the fabric with conductive thread. Sew a trace up to where your LEDs will be and leave a long tail for picking up later. Add another line of stitching from the other side of the battery holder and again leave a long tail. Now when you pop the battery in, you can use these two tails to test your LED's polarity before sewing. If you plan to make a lot of sequins, you can leave this tester jig set up while you work on a larger project. When working with conductive thread, tuck your thread tails into some previous stitches before cutting, as free hanging thread tails can cause shorts in your circuit. If your thread starts tangling and seems too twisted, just let the needle hang down from your project to untwist. Once you know which side is positive and which side is negative, you can stitch one or the other to your fabric. Repeat with the other sequins, wiring the positive sides of the LED to the positive stitching line coming from the battery. These three sequins are wired in parallel, which will give them each the necessary three volts to light up. If you need help figuring out how to wire your LED circuit, check out our iOS app, Circuit Playground. Remember not to let the positive stitching touch the negative stitching. And that's it. You can add this technique to your bag of tricks. And I'd love to see your LED sewing projects in a video response or on our weekly electronics show and tell on Google+. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.